Sagittarius, you are not a beast of burden, and it is more than healthy for you to choose your own healing over carrying the burden that is meant for another. Hello, beautiful souls. Thank you for joining me here, and welcome to my table, you guys. If you're new here, hello. My name is Zachary. It's nice to meet you. And if you're returning, hey, it's good to see you guys again. Pull up a chair or stand, whatever works for you, okay? Um, so Sagittarius, I love you guys to start here. It feels like maybe a little bit of extra love is needed at this time. Um, a transition of sorts maybe going on in your life based on the information that came through and channeled messages through meditation um, and oracle cards that were, were pulled here. So let's get into it. Your meditation messages that came through, this was interesting because they came through in really like one word bits, bits and bubbles. <laughs> um, typically, you know, I'll get images or phrases, things like that. It kind of depends on, on the message. This feels like a message in and of itself, having little clips of things. Um, it makes me feel curt is kind of what comes, comes to mind, being short with somebody. Uh, maybe you're at a point here where you just about had it with something. So the things that came through first was ox, the symbol of an ox or oxen, which um, beast of burden is where that comes from for me. The ox can symbolize many other things, but beast of burden is what was standing out. So the next thing that I saw was a shellfish. Shellfish can symbolize protection, resilience, openness, and regeneration. So this is where I'm getting this message of healing, like cho choosing your own regeneration over being the beast of burden, somebody's beast of burden. You are not a beast of burden, unless you want to be for yourself, right? But even then, you know, compassion is really important to bring into our own situation. So it's feeling like there is a situation or a need to separate from somebody else's expectations over you. And this feels even more than just expectation. This feels like um, it could be a parent-child relationship. It could be a long-standing romantic relationship. Something where this is not this is not super easy to just say, um, this ain't working for me, I'm going to move on. But you're getting to a point where, like I said, you just about had it. So the next thing that came through was abhorrent which is disgust or to loathe. So this is where I'm getting that you're fed up and I'm fed up for you. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I'm over it for you. <laughs> placate and placeholder were two words that came in next. So I feel like placate coming in here, this feels like more something maybe you've been participating in to this individual that is placing you in the yoke as their beast of burden. Up until now, you have been working to just placate the situation because maybe fighting back or defending yourself in some way results in more pain or loss for you, a harder harder day at work, right? Um, placeholder, with that coming through, I feel what comes through on that is this projection of somebody else's um, pain or trauma. This is where I'm kind of getting the beast of burden. This is um, somebody is behaving in a way where they are projecting um, trauma. OK, and this could be this could be flopped. You know, you could be giving this to somebody else, but this feels more Sagittarius like you're on the receiving end of this. Uh, the last thing that came through was drink. So a couple things with that. This could represent alcohol. I do also get um, hydration. Maybe you have a hard time keeping hydrated, um, especially if you are in this situation where there's a need to lift the yoke here and free yourself to work towards regeneration, giving yourself the best setup, the most amount of health and strength to get through this task is important. When we're dehydrated, this is a quick and easy way to get headaches, to become depressed, to feel anxious, okay? That's not going to solve everything, but for someone here, that's that's coming through. And I suppose that could be attached to alcohol, too, with dehydration. So one way or the other, I guess. Um, the last thing that came through was crabs in a pot. Crabs in a pot. So what do crabs in a pot do? When a crab is trying to crawl out of a pot, the other crabs that are in that pot will grab that crab and pull it down. This feels like this kind of situation. You have been working to um, heed the call of your own ascension for quite some time here and there's something that's pulling you back into this pot it does feel like family 
It feels like family for a lot of you. Um, if it's not family, it feels like a residual program or a projected trauma onto yourself that you may inadvertently be pulling yourself back down. So let's move forward here. Blue Angel Oracle is what Spirit wanted to work with today. So you guys get choice. Um, interesting because in my morning practice here, I also got choice. <laughs> so choice is about, well, choice. It reminds us that there isn't a right or wrong choice, but that we may be in a situation where we're feeling stressed to make the correct choice, whatever the hell that means. That correct choice does feel like it's coming from a place of expectation from another, a dominant other, and also um, could be coming from a, a sense of fear or need to figure something out to move into safety. What I'm getting from this is that stress component, this reminder that there is, there is not a right or wrong choice that can be made here. There are multiple choices that can be made to lead you to the same result. Um, or better or worse results, but leading ourselves to these outcomes does not mean that it is necessarily a success or failure when we're looking at the greater scheme of things being a lesson. Earth school, right? We're here to learn. I do feel like if you want to look at it like the right choice, the right choice is going to be choosing you. Okay. All right. Let's get further into your messages here. Um, which one we do want to do? Wild Unknown. Do you want any other Oracle cards? Yish. Which one? Urban Crow. Okay. One. One. For Sagittarius, please, Spirit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Memory. Memory. <laughs> All alone in the moonlight. <laughs> Memory here. So this is, um, speaking of that trauma, like I was, this does very much feel like somebody, possibly a parent, could be siblings, somebody else in the family is um, projecting or instructing a certain bit of information as if it is to be your wisdom too. Um, so in this deck here, this card, Memory is, um, or the crows, okay. Crows are excellent when it comes to memory. They remember who hurts them and who has helped them. They even teach this information to their young so that they're able to distinguish who's good and who's bad. You see what I'm saying? See where I'm going here? So, um, all right, this could also be your beast of burden. Maybe there isn't someone who is actively displaying or or portraying the role of the dominant other for you guys at this time but the memory is lingering okay if that's the case for you i feel like there's difficulty the choice that you're trying to make is is to still heal and regenerate yourself or generate for the first time uh something in your life but this this is holding you back because it feels like I don't know, family wisdom feels like something you were taught needs to be carried on. It doesn't. It's your choice. So it's your choice. Okay. Um, let's pull an animal oracle card here for you guys. Sagittarius, please. Sparat. What do we have for Sagittarius this time? Additional messages. Mm. Okay. Two did come out here. Um, and just because I keep forgetting until the end, so I'm going to mention this, then we'll get into the animals here. The channel did hit a year on October 6th, and to celebrate, you guys, I am giving away a free reading. If you guys do want to enter for um, a chance to win that reading, I will have instructions on how to do so in a separate video. The link will be in the description of this video, or you can click on the video that'll be down in this corner at the end of the video, okay? I'm going to draw at the end of the month here, October 2024. If you want to enter, feel free. I'd love, I'd love to have you. All right. So two came out here, raccoon and stingray. Um, and raccoon actually came through for um, Scorpio too. So this concept of uh, could be mischievousness along with this. I kind of get Gemini energy with the raccoon, to be honest. Um, trash pandas, right? <laughs> as a, as a son Gemini, I'm not. <laughs> not being disparaging towards Gemini, but um, it just makes me laugh. That's all. This, this concept of a mask, though, 
comes through with the raccoon. The mask that we're wearing. This isn't necessarily saying that the mask has to be uh, taken off and thrown away. This is asking you to consider, am I, am I wearing the right mask for the job? Is the mask that I'm wearing helping me or hindering me? A uh, mask that we wear can be something that we use to protect, protection that came through with shellfish, um, to protect something inside that we don't want others to see, or it can be used to amplify a certain energy, to embody a type of uh, energy or archetype, okay? It feels like there's an encouragement here, especially with the stingray as I get into this. It feels like there's an encouragement here with the raccoon to put the mask on that's helping you to amplify the energy that you need right now. And the energy that you need right now will be the stingray. So the component with the stingray here, what I get from this is like, we're gonna stand up straight, okay? We're straightening our spine. We're realizing that we have a spine, right? We are tapping into our ability to stand up for ourselves. Okay, so with the mask there, whatever it is that you need to put on, I'm seeing Z for Zorro. <laughs> put on your Zorro mask here, okay? And gather, gather the strength that you require for whatever the situation is for you here to be able to move towards your health and regeneration, okay? Okay, let's get into your tarot messages. So we're going to start here with the Deviant Moon Tarot. Spirit, what do we have here for Sagittarius? My saggy friends, um, five of cups here at the split. So I do feel, speaking of the dominant other, five of cups is disappointment, regret, um, essentially being attached to something from the past that is causing pain and not being able to realize the potential of the present or the future in, in what still remains, okay, or what is possible. In this deck in particular, it's the shrew <laughs> yelling at the husband is the way that they describe this. The rose that's crushed here on the bottom is symbolizing love lost. This is just reminding me of what I was saying there with the dominant other. It feels like there's, I mean, could be a parent, could be a partner, like I said, two of cups here at the split. Um, it certainly could be a relationship, okay? But whatever this is, the dynamic moved into a place that, that became toxic or was always toxic, okay? What do we have here for Sagittarius, please? And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, I do have a link in the description the video you can click on or there's a join button next to the subscribe. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to take this journey with me. And I do have personal readings available if you do need help with something a little bit more particular to yourself, as this is a general reading. Feel free to check out my website. There's a link in the description of the video. Okie doke. Uh, the Fool at the split here, too. Yeah, feels like there's. it's time to start a new journey. It's time to start something new. Um, this requires faith, though. It feels like there's fear. There's a lot of fear. You don't want to be made... Which one here? You don't want to be made a fool. And you're not a fool. Okay, the hangman here at the bottom. So this is your hope. Hopes and dreams. Um, this is seeing something from a different angle. I feel like for some of you, there could be a desire to get out of like a holding period, out of a waiting waiting zone. Maybe you, I'm waiting for my life to start here is what, what I'm hearing. Um, for others of you, this feels more like you want somebody to see something differently, not necessarily you. Maybe you are trying to see something differently. And if that is the case, this feels like you've been trying and trying to see something differently. Um, but what you're maybe not seeing is that it's somebody else who needs to see something differently. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Curious Travels Tarot here next for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. And general reading, like I said, you guys, <laughs> Travelers here. This is a card specific to this deck. Um, it symbolizes forward movement. It also symbolizes an adventure. So as the... Um, Zodiac that is ruled by Ju Jupiter here, the planet of movement. Perhaps there is an adventure waiting for you guys here in the near future. Certainly movement, at least. And while Gemini was coming through here with Trash Panda, right, we do have Jupiter in Gemini right now. So depending on where you have Gemini in your chart, uh, we have every sign in our chart. If you don't have 
a planet in in the house of Gemini. Um, you can Google your chart here, figure out which house you have Gemini in, and that is going to explain to you how Jupiter is expanding that energy in your experience right now. Okay, but wherever you have Gemini, this is being expanded through uh, Jupiter. Okay. Adventure, though, I love that. So yes, general reading. Keep that in mind, you guys. You're intelligent. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher if these messages are for you. And if they're not, feel free to dump them off somewhere. Uh, you do not need to own it, okay? Magician here at the split also. You have everything that you need to create whatever it is that you're working to create. The, uh, Gemini, again. Gemini Virgo. <laughs> okay, Mercury. Um, communication is something that's coming through. There may be something that needs to be said to somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get it. You might need to tell someone to fuck right off, right? Because <laughs> sometimes we gotta. <laughs> With love and light, always. But um, certainly far, far away from here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But yes, feel free to check out any of the other placements in your chart. Like I said, we have every sign in there. So feel free to uh, piece together your story. So in here, okay. The high priestess. So this is your fear. Fear, aversion, anxiety. Um, I am getting kind of secrets here. The high priestess, this is um, sacred knowledge. This is the subconscious realm. This is fertility that lies in the subconscious realm. Divine feminine in the shadow. Um, being with secrets coming through here. I don't know. This could be a secret that you're holding. There's a fear that you have. Maybe this person who is um, your dominant other is working to control you in some sort of situation knows something about you and you have this fear of this coming out. Um, what I'm getting from that, I'm drawn back to the shellfish with protection. Protection is something that is very strongly coming through this message. Yes. And placate, okay, with placate too, that's that's it. You may be placating somebody because you feel that they have something on you. Um, obviously, there are different levels of things, but what I'm getting is that regardless of what's happened, you deserve peace, you deserve healing. Every sinner has a future, every saint has a past, right? Right. Okay, general energy here to start. Page of Wands. <laughs> It's time, to, it's time to start again. So this is, um, if this is you in the situation where you're afraid of something somebody knows about you, um, this is the energy of excitement, the energy period to get started on a new journey. Um, this is my put me in coach card. So I feel like universe, spirit, God is working to reinvigorate this experience for you. You've been trucking along here, like I said, with everything that's come through channeling, um, choice, memory, all alone in the moonlight. Um, <laughs> all alone in the moonlight. <laughs> memory from cats. Um, not a sound on the pavement. I feel like you guys have been feeling alone in this venture, in this venture. But this is about to change. But I have anything to say about it. <laughs> and I have lots of Mercury in my chart. So trust you me, I have some things to say about it. <laughs> page of Swords, too. Well, well, well. Um, page of Swords coming through with the Page of Wands. So I do feel that there is a need to, um, like we're looking at the with the Hangman here, too. Maybe there is a need to see something from a different angle. If you're feeling tied up in I mean, somebody's extortion, you know what I mean? Um, spirits coming through here and requesting you to learn something new about the situation, to learn something new about you. I don't feel like you're seeing something quite correctly or the weight that you're feeling that somebody may have over you is only as weighty as it is because they have intended to make you feel that way. And they can go to hell, right? They can burn, they can burn hell. <laughs> a special place in hell for people who behave that way, okay? Who intentionally work to injure other people. And you guys are much stronger than this. And 
you're also human. And there, especially if this is family or a longstanding relationship, we can all, with the right circumstances, become an animal that's backed into a corner in many different ways, okay? And this feels like you are backed into a corner um, and it's more of like a freeze fawn type behavior that's happening here. Not that it needs to become a fight, um, but it, it definitely feels like it's time to get out of the situation, whatever, whatever this is. The Page of Swords also can be um, spying behavior. Spying. <laughs> Somebody keeping tabs potentially on you um, over social media. If this is somebody, whoever this is being triggered for you, if you are, if they're in your immediate life, um, well, I guess either way, I do feel that mm, maybe this is the fear you have of secrets, the secret. Like you don't have the ability to have anything that's private is kind of what I'm getting. For some of you, it's not, it's not that there is a big secret that somebody's holding over your head. Um, it's that somebody is invading your privacy. Again, special place in hell. Um, which exists on this plane, right? In the present moment. Um, still, very special place for them. I do feel with the High Priestess here again, back to the secrets, I feel like it's... Um, Whoever this person is, there's a long-standing relationship. Like I said, they know they know you pretty well. You know them pretty well. So there's this uh, behavior of like, I know you better than anybody else will know you. And for some reason, that component is making it difficult for you to trust yourself. Maybe there's some manipulation, psychological manipulation, or attempt at that psychological manipulation, but it's wearing you down is what I'm getting. Hell hath no fury. <laughs> like Zachary when he's uh, fed up with the bullshit. <laughs> and same with Sagittarius, right? Same with Sagittarius. Uh, when you guys do get to a point where you're done, you're done. And it feels like this is a situation where you are being encouraged to be done, to get to that point where <laughs> you're done, okay? Um, good stuff. Mmm, yay. Nine of swords. So nine of swords, typically this is anxiety. You're losing sleep over a situation here. You're waking up into a circuitous nightmare, having a nightmare as you fall asleep, waking up and it's nope, actually this is just my life now. Um, there can be a component of mourning to this as well, but being in the good stuff here, we're talking about getting out of this. In most decks, this individual, um, these swords are kind of going different directions, but the individual is, has their back to the points of all of the swords. So they're not really facing that energy. Being in the good position here, you are facing this energy. You done did had it, okay? And it's about time. You deserve to, to face off with these swords. And I don't, again, I don't feel like this is a battle. These swords are um, an illusion. Not that your situation isn't real. The illusion is that um, you can't face them. That's a part of the nightmare. That's a part of maybe what this individual is trying to make you believe. That they can control your reality. Well, 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 I think they have another thing coming. Right, Sagittarius. <laughs> it seems to me that there's a need to uh, stoke an inner fire. Okay? I mentioned this to Sag or not Sagittarius, Scorpio. Trataka is something that's coming through here. Candle gazing. If you're struggling, we'll get done in a second. If you're struggling with your own inner fire, um, you can Google it, look into the practice of it, but candle gazing, going into a meditative state, softening your gaze and absorbing that energy from the flame. It feels like you need that energy right now, okay? Death comes through here in uh, the good stuff to clarify the nine of swords. Hell yeah, it's about time, like I said. We're talking about an ending, moving into a new beginning. The end of a relationship, the end of this captivity. <laughs> Um, the end of the abuse, the manipulation, the hurt, pain, okay, restriction, whatever it is that's going on between you and this dominating other. 
we're done with that now. And with that happening, <laughs> I'm seeing this little, this little guy laying here on the scythe. Um, you're ready, you're ready to, to rest. I'm getting very like four of swords energy. It's your turn to rest, to heal that heart, okay? It's your time down here, Sagittarius. Feel, let's get one here on good stuff for Sagittarius, please. As we, whoop, as we are entering Scorpio season here, death and rebirth, death is Scorpio. Um, as we, okay, I'm getting that. As we go through the zodiac, we are, you know, born, we have sun signs, moon signs, all this jazz, but we also, the ar archetypes of the zodiac represent this journey that we take as a human being through the seasons. We are now moving into Scorpio season. It is time for us to clean up, clean up house, okay? It's time to release what is not working. It's time to release what shouldn't be here so that we can make way for the new. As we move then into your season, where we all start to examine the light and dark that's inside of us and determine where do we want to sit here on this balance, right? But for now, we're taking the trash out, okay? Energy activation, connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. If you're feeling like you need, like I was just saying, Trataka, if you're feeling like you're needing an additional boost of energy to get through this, and it feels like you do. Call on your on your divinity here, okay? On your guides, universe, God, Akasha, source, whatever it is that you want to call that energy. Call in support. Maybe even call in an activation here. Please activate the um, the strength that I need to take care of whatever it is you need to take care of here, okay? I know you can do it, Sagittarius. I know you can. So what you don't see coming here, what's in the dark? Two of Cups. So as I'm talking about your season here too, extremes coming into a balance, finding a balance between extremes. Two of Cups here is opposites attracting. It's connection. Could be a relationship coming through. What you don't see coming is in taking this step, you are then able to start balancing these opposites. Oh, I love this, you guys. Bringing more peace to your home life is something that's coming through. Two of Cups is Venus and Cancer. Feeling more connected to your home space. Like I said, maybe, you know, this person lives with you. Maybe they're family. Maybe uh, it's a partner, which, I mean, could also be family. But peace, like finding finding peace and in, it could be with this person but i i don't that's maybe one of you here all right it feels more like this this person is um belongs in the dumpster <laughs> like i said special place in hell four of pentacles comes through here to clarify stability safety security so again you guys i'm feeling this like finally finally getting to a place where you're able to feel safe at home, especially. This feels like um, you haven't been able to have a safe place at home. And when we're not able to have a safe place at home, like, is there anywhere that we do feel safe if we don't feel safe at home? I don't, like, I don't think, I mean, maybe there's somewhere we feel more safe but we need to be able to feel safe at home. That's where we recharge. That's where we heal. We have a right, a sovereign right to have a safe home, okay? Your foundation here, I feel like being able to um, find a better match with your foundation, mm, maybe a move, mm. Found the foundation of a house here, maybe you're moving to a different foundation or just building a new foundation. It I kind of see, so in the Four of Pentacles, they're gripping this pentacle here in the center as well, hanging on to that which allows them to feel safe. Uh, and, and that action interrupts the flow of safety, of security coming back in, whether this be money or living, like I said, your foundation, where it is you're living at home. This feels like 
there might be a clinging to what it is that you've known because this is what you've known. Not that it's that you want to stay there necessarily, but I'm getting this feeling of like there is a need for you to be able to root down and to feel safe. To be embraced by Venus, by love and connection. Like I said here with the high priestess, this is Isis or Venus in the shadow. And it feels like being your fear here, this is, this is where you've been. The negative components that can come along with connection. I'm, I'm being brought back to somebody taking advantage of knowledge over you to uh, push your buttons, to manipulate, to abuse. Straight to jail. <laughs> Straight to jail. <laughs> Oh, I love you guys so much. Um, I know that I know that you can find the place, those of you this message applies to, that you can find the place where you can tap into that strength to take care of business. Like I said, take care of what needs to be taken care of. Let's grab um, for what they don't see coming here. Some advice here in this section, please, Spirit. Ooh. Apology, forgiveness through mutual understanding. So this is interesting and release, release grudges, wounds, and pent up feelings through healthy activities. Like I was saying, there might be, you know, um, somebody coming back together here. It could be, yeah, could be for some of you with an apology. Um, this could be you that needs the apology. I do definitely feel that more in this reading. For others of you, maybe there is an apology that needs to be given. Um. Whatever the case is, I still feel I'm, I'm being drawn back to the stingray here. There's a need to feel your spine. There's a need to maybe grow a spine. And I don't mean that in the negative way, just because there's not really another way to describe this here. To tap into your inner strength and confidence. To know that um, you don't need to back down from something. We do all have a shadow and we do all have light. And sometimes um, we do need to operate from our shadow when somebody else is operating from their shadow. This is not a failure. Okay. Um, sometimes it needs to happen. And this feels like a situation where for most of you, this is what needs to happen. I just see big fire monster. Okay. Burn it down. <laughs> burn it down <laughs> but with the apology um those of you that this involves coming back together with somebody it's still requiring you to stand your ground to stand up for yourself in some way okay okay um difficulty your challenge at this time the lovers lovers also gemini <laughs> communication i'm feeling communication very strongly saying what it is that you need to say say what you need to say Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, right? Not today, Satan. I wore that shirt all day yesterday because I was feeling it. Not today, Satan. So with the lovers being here in your difficulty, I do feel um, there's a concern for some of you where this is a romantic relationship of some sort. Maybe the writing is on the wall where you know this is not healthy or you need to leave a situation. And um, you're afraid. Back to memory here, all alone in the moonlight. You don't want to be alone in the moonlight. This may suck, but I at least don't want to be alone. I don't feel like that's for all of you. Ultimately, this is a crossroads. You're being at a crossroads. And there's a need to, to figure out what decision you want to make here. Back to choice. Like I said, the only um, wrong decision, I guess, is not choosing you, okay? So make sure that you choose you. This card, or this deck in particular, I did feel called to pull this one out. There's this snake here that's um, biting this individual's leg. So I do get the quality of like a toxicity inside of a relationship. Yeah, yeah, okay. Judgment. Judgment day. 
for us all, right? Um, when judgment comes, there is nobody that's immune to that. With this coming through and lovers, as far as the choice goes, what I feel is um, there, there will come a day. There is that day today. We are living through day to day. This situation where we are, we're dealing with the repercussions of our decisions. Judgment here, the difficulty I feel for you guys is you're hearing, you're hearing the call to get the hell out of a situation or to excise somebody from your life or to excise, maybe it's a habit even with drink coming through there. Ah, maybe it's a habit. You're hearing the call. Um, you, you still need to like go answer the phone. You know what I mean? Make the decision to, to do something about that call. And this is difficult right now because we're talking about your foundation. Something is severely affecting that. Let's say it is drinking. I don't know. Maybe maybe you've been leaning on. It doesn't have to just be drinking. Maybe you've been leaning on something to kind of numb out the fact that this is going on. And you're getting the call that this needs to be put down, laid to rest here. That's difficult. It's difficult to make changes. But you guys are strong. Strong AF. Okay. You can do this. This eye here too does remind me of um, the eye of Shiva. Destruction. So as we're talking about death coming through here too, being in Scorpio season, this is being supported. Like I said, death, it's time to release things. When we do not release death as it comes through, because really we don't have control over that when that call comes through that something is done. We can make a decision to end things whenever we want, but when it comes to this point where we're getting the message that this is done, if we don't release that, then the next step is a tower. We'll survive the tower, but we don't want to go through the tower, okay, if we don't have to. So um, making the decision to choose you right now is really what I'm getting. Choose you, boo-boo. Um, let's pull, let's see, which oracle card do we want? You want a star seed? I'm going to pull an Oracle card here to close this portion of the reading out, and I'm going to move into an extended reading. If you guys want to join me there, we're going to go over direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions at this time. Okay. Um, links will be in the description of this video afterwards if you do want to check that out. So for Sagittarius, please, spirit. <laughs> oh, damn. I want flew out. The void. Stop, embrace winter and great cosmic womb. So I am actually going to read this one from the book here. Because I can. It feels like you guys are... If you're not in the void right now, it feels like more of you are in the void. If you're not in the void, you're right at the edge there. Um, it's pulling you in. This is kind of where I'm feeling death. It's pulling you in here to give you a safe space of protection so that ch changes can happen around you without it being destructive to your own life. The void, stop, embrace, winter, great cosmic womb. Everything and nothing exists in the void. It's where all life begins and ends. It's the winter and the womb, the fertile darkness where all things originate and all seeds grow, the high priestess. So there's a fear of this, you guys. There's a fear of the void right now, comforting and intimidating, freeing and daunting. It can feel both overwhelmingly small and huge. The void is where faith lives, the fool. The message of the void is to surrender to the unknown, to allow the fertile darkness of nothingness to nourish the new seeds growing within you, regardless of whether you know what you'll one day become. You're being called to surrender to the mystery of what's next. That's that call you're hearing with judgment. To rest and to allow the winter of your life to do the work for you. To hand over your control and trust that just because you can't see what's happening beneath the surface, it doesn't mean things aren't at work. The greatest weavings happen when we find a way to surrender and trust that our life is being knitted for us right beneath the surface in ways known and unknowable. Now is the time to cultivate faith and allow deep, deep rest. That rest on the scythe here. A little guy. <laughs> the void often surfaces at the end of a chapter or life phase, death, when we're called to let go of all that we know and identify with. When you're in the void, it can feel scary and as if you should be doing something. However, when this card appears, it's a sure sign that the most productive thing to do is relinquish control and surrender to the changing mystery of your life. How are you being called to surrender to the unknown mystery of your life? 
All right, Sagittarius, I love you guys so much. I hope this is helpful. And I know that you can do this. I know that you can. I believe in you. I'm on your side, okay? If you do want to join me for the extended, like I said, I'm going to move into there. Links are in the description here. I do have them for sale individually and on uh, the third tier of membership if you want access to them all. And personal readings are open, as I said. If this did resonate with you guys, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I uh, appreciate the support here in growing this channel. I could not do this without you. I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description too. If you do feel called to donate, I will certainly accept that. It is not mandatory, but to those who do support the channel in that way, it goes a long way. And again, I couldn't do this without you guys. So thank you. You are the reason why I do this, why I'm here. I don't just like to listen to myself talk, <laughs> turns out. Um, I love you, Sagittarius. Please take care of yourselves and I'll see you all very, very soon. Be well.